Let's get back to the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline. I want to welcome in a local title holder in South Jersey in the Miss America organization. She's got a platform that she is promoting as well, and it is great to speak to the reigning Miss Cape Shore 2019, and she's also studying to be an educator with Newman University. Uh, Great to have Madison Welsh uh, with us this morning here uh, on WCTC. Madison, good morning, and thank you uh, for taking the time to talk to us today. How are you? Good. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm Uh, so excited. I know you're a little under the weather, and I'm glad you're feeling better today, but uh, thanks for making yourself available for a few moments. Uh, How are my friends in South Jersey? How's everybody down there today? Everybody okay? We are wonderful. Yeah? We're wonderful. We're thankful that it's not raining today. We've been dealing with rain for a couple of days. Well, maybe a little bit later on today. We'll we'll keep our fingers crossed, and I, I know you'll feel better if we get a nice sunny day, too. So, but uh, thanks yes. for checking in here today. Uh, talk about your platform, because uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that when you're involved in these pageants and you're competing against uh, other young ladies from across our state, you, you sort of have to represent a platform. You've chosen a very interesting one. Talk about what SPIN is and how that works. Absolutely. We all choose platforms that we are very passionate about, and sometimes they're the same and sometimes they're different. I promote a platform spin, share positive instead of negative. And what I do is I like to go to schools or chat with radio stations just like WCTC. And I like to talk about the power of positivity. People have no idea that a smile walking through the hallway in a classroom or holding the door for somebody when you're leaving Dunkin' Donuts makes the biggest difference. So I like to talk about that. I like to talk about the power of positivity on social media. It makes a huge difference. Going on timelines on Facebook and seeing negativity is very, very difficult. Recently, there was a shooting in California, and it's so hard to go on social media and see all of that negativity and sadness. I like to promote my platform and try and bring positivity to people's timelines so that they can kind of distract them from the sadness and negativity and just bring a smile to someone's face. Yeah, and especially when it comes to young people, Madison. And I I watched a video in the wee hours this morning just to kind of understand your platform a little bit, and I found I don't know if it was a a local television station or uh, maybe a a web-based news program or whatever that you were on, and it had you in the schools, and you you were going working with uh, some young kids here on the SPIN program, and I think it is such an important thing to just kind of shield young people, especially that age. Uh, They're very impressionable, and there's a lot of, even at that age, there's a lot of pressure on kids. Just keep the positive things in front of them. Keep the negative stuff away from them as best you can. There's so many negative distractions with the media and television and politics and so many things that are going on. When you come Absolutely. along and you talk about positive things to young people, I wish it, you would uh, you know, maybe bring this message across all the schools, uh, across all of New Jersey, and, and come up here and, and spread this message a little bit too, because I think it's such an important thing, especially for young people. Keep them uh, with positive thoughts and, and keep them with the good news of this world. I think it's such a critical thing you're doing. That is absolutely my goal, to go to as many schools as possible and talk to the children. As a future educator and as somebody who sat there and watched the news with my parents when I was younger, I know how difficult it is to go to school and not think about the negativity that's surrounding us when outside of those walls in the school. Yeah. So it's absolutely my goal to talk to as many people as possible. Yeah, well, I've, I found SPIN, uh, Share Positive Instead of Negative on Facebook, and I did like the page yesterday, so I'm hoping everyone will, will look Thank it up you. and, and kind of do the same thing. Uh, as far as your, your pageant work goes, uh, Madison, a very inspirational story. You said it was your grandmother that kind of inspired you to go ahead and get involved in, the, in these competitions. She had a, a big influence on you, right? Yes, absolutely. I started competing in local pageants when I was four years old, and then I became involved in the Miss America organization when I was nine. This is my 11th year of involvement in the Miss America organization, and it truly has brought me all the possibilities and all the opportunities in the world to succeed. My grandmother was my biggest fan, and she continues to influence me, even though she's not with us anymore, and I work so hard to fulfill her goal and my goal of becoming Miss New Jersey. My first year, I didn't place top 10, and I went back again the next year, and I was fortunate enough to place top 10. And then this past year, I was fortunate enough to place fourth runner-up to Miss New Jersey. So wow. hoping to keep climbing the ladder this year. Yes, keep the keep the momentum going uh, in a positive direction, no pun intended. Of course, uh, we'd like to see that, <laughs> see that definitely work out for you. Uh, is there a camaraderie, uh, Madison, w- w- with you and, and the other people you're competing against? Uh, do you, you get along? I mean, there's competition, but uh, I guess is it a friendly competition with you and, and the other contestants? 
Absolutely. We consider ourselves sisters. There's four points to the Crown Scholarship, Style, Success, and Service, and we always say we wish we could add one more, and it would be sisterhood, because we all work hard together. We have a group message that we are constantly talking in, just bringing people up, bringing each other up, talking about our platforms, offering appearances so that we can come together and spend at least an hour together and do what we love, and that's making a difference together. Yeah, and uh, for for the uh, our artistic part of what you do, dancing, and not just any dancing, tap dancing, I think that's kind of a lost art because very few people get involved in, in tap dancing anymore. Something you're passionate about? I watch some videos. You're very good at it. Oh, thank you. Yes, I think that tap is absolutely a dying art, which is sad because I love watching it. When I see a tapper at a dance competition or at a pageant, I'm on the edge of my seat, very excited to see their talent and to be able to listen to their talent. So I'm very thankful that I have an amazing tap teacher who has influenced me and encouraged me to keep doing it. I am I am now a tap teacher, and I am able to share my love with my students, and it is such a joy to be in the classroom for even an hour with my students to share that art awesome stuff and as miss cape shore uh what geographic region of new jersey uh, do you represent madison we represent every area of new jersey from top to bottom as local title holders it is our job to represent the state of new jersey with grace and with our platform and with the ability to potentially become miss new jersey so we have local titles but that doesn't put any barriers up for us to represent the entire state. So even for you as Miss Cape Shore, there's a, a Miss Tri-County, but the two of you to collectively and all everyone else all represents New Jersey as a whole. Absolutely. I there's like 28 that. Of us, there's 28 of us, and we all work diligently to make sure we're connecting all across the state of New Jersey to make a difference. That's the way to go about it. As someone who lives uh, in South Jersey, what's your favorite uh, town at the Jersey Shore, Madison? You have a place you like to go to? Yes, I work in CIL, actually, Okay. so I would have to be a bit biased to CIL. <laughs> I absolutely love going there. Yes, I worked uh, at Shubies this summer, so lots wow. of fun. Wow, good for you. A summer job at the Jersey Shore is as good as it gets, right? Absolutely. Good for you. Where can someone go uh, to find out more about you and maybe support you on this journey here to become Miss New Jersey? Uh, how does someone uh, learn more about you? Absolutely. Well, I encourage everybody to go on MissNewJersey.net and just check out all the scholarships that we have to offer and all the opportunities that we offer within the Miss America organization. You will be able to see me, a familiar, uh, well, you won't be able to hear me, so not a familiar voice, but you can look for me. My name's on the website. And then I also have a Facebook page. It's just Madison Welsh. And then I have an Instagram, Miss Keep Shore, and I post on there. Probably every day Wonderful. talking about my road to Miss New Jersey. So if everybody can follow that, you can follow my whole journey and hopefully see me capture the crown this year at Miss New Jersey. That's certainly what we're pulling for. And uh, Madison, I can speak honestly as someone who meets, I, I meet people from all walks of life all across our state on a day in, day out basis. I meet people who think they have it. And I meet people every once in a while who absolutely have, and I do in the air quotes here, that have it. You are a rare person that really has it, and I, I say that in all sincerity, and I, I really, really think you are going to some very special places in the future, and I really mean that for you, and I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you very much. I appreciate that.